How are we going to pull out the root of bitterness? Someone say, we got to pull it out. Come on, here we go. Ephesians chapter, uh, chapter 4. It says, watch this, verse 29. It says what? Don't use what? Don't use foul or abusive language. Look at this. It says what? Let everything you say be what? Be good and helpful. So what? So that your words will be an encouragement to those that hear them. Look at this. It says what's here. So here, here's, the first, here's the first clue to, to deal with this thing. Number one, you got to fill your heart with the Word of God until it overflows into the life of those who are listening. See, how many of you know everybody's listening already? But the question is, watch this, are you throwing up or overflowing? Oh, come on, that's a good one. That was good. I'm going to say that again. Everybody's listening. The question is, are you, are you throwing up on people or are you overflowing on people? How many of you know that, watch this, some of us are sick because we haven't allowed the Word to heal us. And the Word's not just supposed to get in you. It's supposed to overflow out of you. It says what? So here's the first thing. What do we have to do? We got to fill our hearts with the Word of God until... Until, watch this, and, and, and this, is, this is what some of us, some of us, you go to church, it, it, it ain't work yet. <laughs> well, 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 that's because you haven't received it yet. But here's the deal, is the Word of God is not a statement, it's a person. Come on, y'all hear me? Yeah, somebody need to write that down. The Word of God is not a statement, it's a person. The only way that He can overflow is if you let Him in and allow His words to reside. 